How you doing? For your eight Hunter Archie here. Okay, I've got um, a new toy or a new knife actually by Extrema Ratio. Um, is that by Real? Yep, you should probably read that. Um, it's Italian uh, brand, uh, very high end. Um, this stuff is different to other knives. Um, they make a lot of military tactical style knives and uh, yeah, let's have a different take on the design. I'll show you this one here. This is actually the box. This is the, as you can see, if we can get that in focus. It's a, it's called a um, Colonel Machine, Machine Desert Warfare. Well, Desert Warfare is just another color. But I should show you this one now. There you go. So it comes in a plastic bag. With the extreme ratio name on the bag. What else got here? We got the the warranty. It's warranty card, I believe. Yeah, it's just warranty cards. I go to them. Box is nice, hard cardboard. It's actually kind of nice. Got a package it. Go to the side here. And here you've got the knife itself. With these knives, they come either in desert warfare, which is the tan color, or you can get them in black. Now inside here you got a bit of a no, the silicon, silicon bag to keep it nice and dry. Don't need that anymore. Side. Okay. Um, looks like it's made from Kundura, 1000D Kundura, pretty rough stuff. Um, the top here, it's kind of like padded, which is kind of nice. And one thing, one thing I like about the sheath, it's simple. You notice how thin it is? All that way, right? It's nice and thin, and it's not wide. Uh, this drainage. On the bottom here, there's two rubber pieces that actually uh, pinch the tip of the blade to keep it down. At the same time, uh, at the same time that allows water to go through. And it looks like there's a little loop here. You can put some uh, cord through that if you want, I guess. Uh, leg strap, nice, big, wide, strong leg strap, a big clip faster. Nice, strong click there. So, and of course it's removable from the back here, yeah, from the back here side. It sits through the bottom thread, a bit of velcro there. And the top, this is a bit unique, um, I haven't actually seen this style, but it comes with two loops here, two little feet, and it just, it slides, it's velcro, it just kind of sticks to the velcro on the inside. And yeah, that's how it's done, I mean, I guess you can take this off and you can thread your belt through there directly if you want, but it might sit a bit high. Uh, that's why they have these. But it's just a bit strange. I've never seen two of them look like, look like a Y shape. So I'm guessing it must be for stability when you have it on your hip. Because I do, I plan to carry this on my hip. So I'm going to try it out and I'll do, I'll do another post edition of how this knife actually feels. Double fastness. Right, and as you can see, that's the blade there. Now, the blade itself, um, the handle is four point, I believe. It's uh, really nice and smooth, and the grip itself is quite nice, quite comfortable to hold. Serrations there, about a third of the blade, and as you can see, this knife is actually designed. Oh, it's kind of sharp too. This knife is designed as a fighting knife, it's not a utility or a chopper, so don't buy this knife if you're thinking about using it for that purpose. You'll, you'll wreck the knife, I mean, you'll just you'll kill it, so it's not designed for it, you know, I mean, you see by the, the thickness of the blade, it is thick, thick enough to be strong, but it's not a chopper, so don't, baton, don't think about batoning it or don't think about cutting through trees with this, it's, that's, what, that's what it's not designed for. 
This is designed as defensive or fighting knife. Uh, that's what it's uh, advertised at, and I mean it's obvious too by the weight too. I mean the weight is is towards the rear, the handle. The tip itself is actually quite light, makes it fast, easy to maneuver, and the angle of the tip is designed for penetration. So as you can see, that's the purpose of the knife. I carry this more as a defensive knife and just all around, um, just yeah, mainly for defensive purposes when I'm out, when I'm out in the scrub or I'm out by myself in the bush. Um, you still you still can use them on a camp. I do, you know. I mean, I've only taken this out once so far, uh, just to see how how it sits on the hip. But um, as you can see, it's still brand new. I mean, I haven't actually used it yet. I will be now though. Now that I've done this uh, post or this video. Just to show you guys what it looks like before I start uh, using it for whatever I do. And um, you know, just to give you a quick look at the pattern. It's quite a nice pattern there, as you can see. Um, you know, you got on the back here, you've got a loop for a lanyard um, of some sort, and it protrudes out. So you can probably use that for breaking glass. I mean, it's got a, a square edge to it, so. You know, maybe a non-lethal defensive end as well. And this actually comes off completely. If you unscrew that, just with a, a Phillips head, or not a Phillips head, a flat head, um, you can actually take the whole thing off. It actually slides right off. And then the blade itself is one piece. This little jimpy there, that and that is actually one piece all the way through. Um, you know, but like I said, it's very, you know, very sturdy. It just feels very good, you know. So, and goes in like that. Quite nice, strong, and it's fast enough to take out. Some knives that I found, when you put in a sheath, it takes almost two hands to remove it. And for a defensive knife or a knife where you might use an emergency, it's not good enough. This knife, easy to remove one hand, but at the same time, there's enough pressure to hold it in, as you can see. It's not gonna, you know, it's not. It's not going to come out anytime soon, you know. There's some rattle on the bottom. That's mainly due to um, the middle section because it's not pinching. It's only towards the end. It pinches the blade. And if you really worried about it coming off anyway, you've got it too fast on the top here, which are quite strong. So yeah, you just like that. Okay. So again, that's. Uh the extreme ratio, the, this is called the Colonel Motion in Desert Warfare. So, there you go. Okay. As always, um, you have a nice day and stay safe and get out there and have some fun.